Today we're going to take a look at the 10-inch left-hand self-adjusting electric brake assembly for 3,500-pound axle. Now this electric brake assembly is easy to install. It offers more user control than hydraulic brakes. Now in electric brakes it requires only an electric brake controller, which we do sell separately on our website. There is no actuator or hydraulic lines necessary. If you notice the brake shoes on this, they're lined with a automotive grade friction material. This friction material is fully bonded, it's not riveted to the shoes, gives you long life, more braking torque. The lining also has tapered edges and it does, they do a circular grinding of it to prevent cracking and crumbling that can lead to a mechanical lockup. Now this example is a self-adjusting brake and that you can tell by the cable, the steel cable right here, goes around a pulley, connects to a lever that will automatically adjust the star wheel down here. Now a self-adjusting brake does not require periodic, periodic manual adjustment like the standard brakes. They do use a fine tooth brake adjustment gear down here which allows for more precise setting and then there is no break in period which is needed following your initial adjustment. Normally on these when you install them do your initial adjustment from then on you shouldn't really have to adjust them. Now the backing plate that it's attached to is an E-coated backing plate to help resist wear and corrosion. One thing I do want to mention if you look at the bottom on all brake assemblies there'll be adjuster holes at the bottom and they're usually open to allow a tool to go in and to do your adjustment on the star wheel. On these they do put plugs in them and that's nice to do because what you want to do is when you do install this and you put your brake drum in you don't want dirt getting in those holes and causing any problems with your brake assembly. So this does include the adjuster plugs. If you note it also includes the mounting bolts right here. These are included. Now the nuts and the lock washers that would use to attach this to the flange they are not included. They are sold separately. Now this assembly does, is certified for QAI, which is Quality Assurance International, and CSA, which is Canadian Standards Association. Now the size on this is 10 inches by 2 and a quarter inches, and this is the driver's side electric trailer brake assembly. Now on, when they do the size 10 inches by 2 and a quarter, what they're doing is measuring the 10 inches is the diameter, edge to edge. So if we put a ruler on that, it's 10 inches. And then the two and a quarter would be the width of the lining, which is two and a quarter. So 10 by two and a quarter. And again, this is the left hand or driver side. The easiest way to tell the, which side this goes on, now there's always usually a sticker that'll tell you left hand. If that sticker's not there, the best way to tell is look at the pad lining. This one's shorter. This one on the shoe is longer. So the shorter one, when you install it, will always be towards the front of the trailer. So if that's to the front of the trailer, this will tell you that this is a left hand or driver's side assembly. This axle, the axle these are designed for is a 3,500 pound axle. Again, they are self-adjusting. If you notice the back where the bolts are, it does design to fit a four bolt brake mounting flange. So to install this, you want to make sure you have a four bolt mounting flange on your axle. It does use 10 inch drums. And these are electric brakes. They do need uh, power to uh, run this magnet to work. And if you notice, it has the two wires to supply that. And basically, one wire is to the brake feed to supply power to this. The other one is goes to a good clean ground. And you can see they're both green, so either wire can be used for either function. But that should do it for the review on the 10-inch left-hand self-adjusting electric brake assembly for a 3,500-pound axle.